Hello guys, welcome to feeding.net. So in this particular session, I am going to talk about how to call an how to call an API through Angular application. So for this demo purpose, I have created an Angular application using the command ngnu first, and from this application, we will be calling an API and print the uh, result on the browser. So if I can just quickly show you the result. This is an uh, application I have created. There is a button call called call API. When I click on it, the result from the API gets listed into the browser. So for this purpose, I have used a free API. You can also go to Rapid API. What they provide, they you can search n number of API. It's a real time API, and they can also provide you the API keys as well for the authentication authorization purpose. So I have fetched it and used it into my application. So for this, I have created one data service class. Okay, in data service class, uh, inside the constructor, I am passing an HTTP client object. So to use HTTP client uh, object, you have to do couple of things. Uh, first, you need to go to uh, your app.module.ts. You have to globally uh, re register the HTTP client module. See, this is so. Uh, import HTTP client module from Angular library that is Angular slash common slash HTTP. And you need to mention your module inside the import. And as we know, all the components are declared under declaration and all modules under import. So this is a necessary step. Once you do it, you again need to use the same library and use the HTTP client and HTTP uh, header so that you can use them in your data service class. So inside the constructor, I have created the object of HTTP client. Uh, below that, I have created a, a simple method user that will call the API and get me the result. So for that, uh, at first, I think uh, I have created one variable called a URL where I have provided the URL name and the same a, uh, rapid API gave me the API key and we also need to pass the host. So these two attributes I need to pass under the HTTP uh, header object as part of, I mean, HTTP header object and uh, under these properties. So that's why I have uh, in, imported HTTP header. So inside header, I created the object, pass host and key, then simple variable URL, and you need to do this dot uh, HTTP, that is the HTTP client. You need to use the get method of that and you need to pass the URL and you need to pass the header component. Once that is done, okay, so that is done from the data service class. Now we are calling this method. We can call this method from any component, okay, so, so that uh, your desired result will be printed. So for that purpose, uh, from app.component.html, I will be calling that. So before that, I have uh, created a button called call API. Here I am calling the display method. Okay. So what's inside the display method? Let's go to TypeScript class. So in display method, I am just calling the method of my data service and subscribe the output into one variable called users. Okay. So uh, my method name of data service then dot subscribe drive and whatever the I use the lambda expression here then whatever the result this is the response data coming from the API and to store that I have created a variable of type any and storing it into that variable so that is uh, fine so that is fine uh, 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 uh. and here so to call the data service class, I have used its uh, uh, object here, passing the ob object dependency injection, and here I imported the same class. Uh, one more thing, I have used the flag called show. 
okay uh, the purpose is i mean uh, once our application load uh, then i mean at the time of display c uh, i am displaying my data into the div here i took the ul and li and here on div i uh, i created one condition if show is true then only show the div else you don't so i mean uh, once our application inputs then what happen every time it will try to uh, i mean this because we mentioned that in constructor it will every time call your object and unnecessarily create an error in, in the backend so i created it as false and here i mentioned it as false and whenever somebody calls the display method from the button then uh we can make it true okay fine so what happened ng4 at the response i told you that i get that into the users variable of type array so let user of users dot response so uh the api response uh if i can just go to see the response uh okay let me go to this okay let's refresh the page see so this is the response so response okay so this is my data and under this we have one node called response and inside that we have the those country name so for that uh, purpose in my loop i did users dot response and here i am printing all the country's name so if i can just refresh uh, call the api and see every country name from the api get listed on the browser so guys this is a uh, pretty much end of the session for any query any doubt you can Uh, write it on comment and my sincere request if you do like the video please like and subscribe the channel uh, thanks a lot